good morning. Well, whether you're for the Ice Bucket Challenge or not, the point is there's a deeper message and meaning behind it. And joining us to talk a little bit more about it is Dr. Michael English. So first of all, what does ALS stand for? So ALS stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And what does that mean? That's a mouthful. Um, what it means is it's a disease that affects the nerves that control the voluntary muscles in our body. So when we are talking about the Ice Bucket Challenge, uh, challenge how much has this impacted the awareness on ALS? It's had a huge impact. Uh, ALS is a relatively rare disease. It affects about 30,000 people in the United States annually and about 30 people in the Rogue Valley. So, you know, I, from what I've been researching online, mm -hmm. th is there a cure for it? Right now, there's no cure. And uh, as we wear, uh, raise awareness about ALS, there's hope that uh, with additional research that we can find out uh, more information and potentially uh, develop more hope for people. So what is it about the disease that makes the research so difficult? Is it there's not enough money or what is it? Well, it's a very complicated disease with a lot of different factors that play a, a part. Now, the more we learn about it, the more we, we find out that it's a complex factor, a complex mix of factors that affect the uh, development of the disease and also its progress. Now, you say complex. So what are some symptoms that people might experience? And is this something you're born with? Um, this is, there are a few people that have a, a genetic variant of the disease, but most people have a, a sporadic form. And the typical feature is um, some weakness that slowly develops. Uh, usually it starts in one limb and then can spread to other limbs and uh, typically uh, slowly gets worse over time. Okay, and also people have been mentioning it affecting your speech. So is this just a total breakdown of your system? It's not a total breakdown of the system, but all the muscles that we control um, uh, can be affected. So that includes the muscles that help us uh, speak and swallow as well as breathe. All right, perfect. And if people want to find more information, where can they go? So there's a lot of good websites. The uh, Muscular Dystrophy Association has a great website. The ALS Association also has a great website. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Doctor. So you heard it all. We are going to continue covering your ALS coverage. Plus, we have an ice bucket surprise for you. Stay with us.